and welcome to my Division FPS Fix Guide. Uh, this guide, if done properly, should give you a big boost in frame rate um, and it, the graphics settings don't look uh, bad at all. There's no uh, noticeable loss really in image quality um, and it gives you much better image quality than running the game on low uh, and the same sort of frame rates uh, as if you were running the game on low. Uh, this has boosted my frames uh, considerably. Uh, I was struggling to run the game uh, at all, really. It was uh, dipping uh, and sitting around uh, about 45 frames, which I do find quite choppy. So uh, I had a uh, fiddle around in the config files, um, and there are many more settings in there to tweak than you do have in um, the game itself uh, and I believe I found a nice balance that gives you very nice visuals and uh, a big increase in frame rate uh, so if you are having issues do give this uh, guide a try um, I haven't tested it with many other people so I'm not guaranteeing everyone's going to get the same results as me but it's definitely really helped me out uh, massively so uh, hopefully it will help you out too uh, so let's get started um, first thing we need to do is download obviously my uh, config file uh, which will be in the description and then uh, download notepad++ I'll put a link for that as well in the description um, extract the file that you've downloaded um, out of its zip file and then go to your uh, original uh, config directory which is going to be in your documents uh, my games uh, Tom Clancy the division and the first file we're going to be looking at is this one here uh, graphics settings dot the division dot exe dot xml okay so what we're going to want to do is edit this one with notepad plus plus uh, and the two lines of code we will be using in a second is these two here. Um, so what we need to do is keep that open there. Go to the new config files that you've downloaded and edit those as well. So let's put that in a separate window if we can. So drag those out into two separate windows so you don't get confused with what one's going where. So this is your original and you see in the file that you've downloaded from me that it will have an example thing here. So if we just delete that and replace it with the correct install path so that's in your own directory. So just copy and paste that over to here, like so. And then go over and copy and paste that as well. The config file path, like so. So make sure you do just copy over what's in between the quotation marks to prevent you from deleting any code out of the config file and messing it up. Uh, so once you've done the edit on the new config file, putting the right pass, click save, and then you can close the windows down here. I'm not going to save this because I don't need to edit, obviously. And then your next step is going to be, once you've edited that, um, replace this with the one in your uh, original destination. So go to Documents, My Games, Tom Clancy, The Division again, and replace this edited file with this one here. So copy that one over delete this one here and then copy this one over here doesn't need editing at all it should it's uh, ready just to copy straight over uh, so yeah copy that one over there 
and replace it with this one here. And that is everything you need to do in your files once you've replaced those two and the text in the uh, XML file. That's everything done. And the last two things that I also do is um, here, if you go to uh, Uplay, I'll disable the overlay in Uplay, um, which is here, settings. And uh, yes, general and enable in game overlay, just untick that. And then I've also disabled the voice chat as well. You don't have to do that, I just do it. And that's everything you need uh, to basically. Uh, boost your frame rate. Uh, please like, comment and subscribe um, and share this with your friends that play The Division. Uh, please leave a comment to tell me whether or not it worked for you and how much of a result you've got from this so I can get an idea uh, of what people's uh, experience is with this fix. Um, if I do release any uh, better uh, configs in the future I'll make sure I update it with a new video. Uh, thanks a lot for uh, looking up this video and I'll see you later. So I thought I'd add a little um, comparison of before and after at the end of the video. Uh, so I've added some footage to show you uh, my experience before and my experience after. So right now you can see that I'm getting around 40 frames per second dips. Um, and this is why I'm finding it quite irritating. Uh, so yeah, just walking around here. Uh, this is an exactly an intense scene and I'm getting 45 FPS. Uh, so I just walked to the end of the road here and then we will start the um, clip after the uh, fixes have been done. So this is after the config switch, you'll probably be getting more frames. Uh, I'd get more frames afterwards because I'm recording, so that dips it down a little bit. But as you can see, I'm getting 145 there, 130, 97. 97 where I was getting 45 before. Uh, and if you look, the quality of the graphics hasn't really changed at all. Uh, just turning here. Yeah, so I was getting 45 down here as well. I'm getting 100 where here, 103. So yeah, a massive improvement. And uh, then I'll walk to the end of the road again, like the last clip. Uh, so as you can see, yeah, massive improvement. Um, so hopefully you'll get the same results. Okay, thanks. Bye.